Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So this is Harriet Crochet, and today we are going to crochet this very beautiful giraffe bookmark. So get the materials ready. The materials are listed at the beginning of the video, but uh, you you're going to need a uh, yellow yarn. Or orange white yarn and brown yarn as you can see and then you're going we are going to use this 3.5 millimeters crochet hook so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the antennas uh, which is the topmost part of the head and we're going to start with the brown yarn so we'll ma uh, we'll make the magic circle and then we'll do four single crochets in the magic circle so we're going to do single crochet one two three and four and then i'll close the gap and put my marker over here So now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of eight single crochets. Okay, so I'll go into the first stitch here. And increase. So increase means you do two single crochets in the same circle. Okay, so increase in the next stitch. So we'll do two single crochets in the same stitch. Increase in the third stitch. And increase also in the fourth stitch. Okay, so now in the third row, we are going to do uh, single crochets all the way around for a total of eight stitches. So you continue and do single crochets in every stitch. All the way until you get to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end of row three, we are going to change uh, to the yellow or orange yarn uh, to start making the other part of the antennas. Okay, so we are going to continue to row four and five using the main color yarn. And we are going to do single crochets all the way around in row four and row five. Okay, so we'll have eight single crochets in each row. Okay, so we'll continue and do single crochet in the next stitch, do single crochet single crochet, okay, and we'll do single crochet all the way to the end in this row and the next row which is row five okay so i'll see you when you're done with row five so that we do the sixth row together okay so after we're done with row five this is how it looks like so now in row six we are going to do a decrease and then single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and then again single crochet in the next two stitches so we'll have a total of six stitches okay so we are going to start by decreasing and 
and then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches and then we'll decrease again and then uh, we'll do two single crochet in the remaining two stitches Okay, so we'll have a total of six stitches so now in the next row which is the seventh row and also the last row of the antennas we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet all the way around Okay, so now after you're done with this one antennas, we're supposed to make two So you'll cut off the yarn for this one and make another one like this But the second one don't cut off the yarn because we're going to join the two together So as you can see, I already finished my first one. So we are going to join together These two. Okay, so make the other two and then we continue to make the other one and then we continue together okay okay so when you're done making the other one you're going to take uh, the other antenna and then uh, we are going to do a single crochet in the next one so we'll join using a single crochet like that okay so I'll just put my marker over here to uh, so that I remember where I started and then I'm going to continue and do single crochets in both antennas. So we'll have 12 single crochets. So I'll go into the next stitch and do single crochet. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we'll continue into the next antenna. So six, seven. eight nine ten eleven and then the last one okay so we'll have 12 single crochets okay so now after we're done with that now we're going to go into row 9 so I'll just place my marker over here and then in the ninth row we'll start by doing a single crochet in the first three stitches so we'll do single crochet One, two, and three. Okay, and then we'll do uh, two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, which is an increase. So increase in the next stitch. And then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then again we'll increase in the next stitch. So increase. And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so single crochet and single crochet okay so now we have a total of 14 stitches okay so we are going to start adding a little bit of fiber as we go on okay so you can start doing it now or you can do it later okay so now in the 10th round we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 14 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way round okay so after you're done with row 10 this is how it looks like so now in row 11 we are going to start by doing single crochet in the first two stitches so we'll do single crochet then another single crochet and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do again a single crochet in the next two stitches single crochet and then another single crochet okay and then again we'll increase in the next one so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches so single crochet one two and three okay and then after that we'll increase in the next so increase okay and then we'll do a single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet again and single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and single crochet in the last stitch so we'll have a total of 18 stitches okay so as you can see i've already started stuffing so i've stuffed my antennas already so you should do that too okay so now uh in the 12th round we are going to do single crochets all the way around so we'll have a total of 18 stitches so we continue and do single crochet all the way around until you get here at the end okay so now after row 12 uh this is how your little giraffe should look like so now in the 13th row we are going to start by doing two single cro single crochet in the first two stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then we'll increase in the next stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so one two three and four and then we'll increase in the next stitch then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches so single crochet one two 
and three and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so one two three and four okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then single crochet in the last stitch okay so we'll have a total of 22 stitches okay so now for the next two rounds which is row 14 and row 15 we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 22 stitches so you'll continue and do single crochet in every stitch in this round which is round 14 and the next round 15 and then I'll see you when you're done with the 15th round so that we set the 16th round together okay so now um, after the 15th round this is how it looks like so now in the 16th row we are going to start by doing single crochet in the next three stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and three and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches so single crochet one two three four and five and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so single crochet one two three and four then increase in the next stitch then single crochet in the next five stitches so single crochet one two three four five then increase in the next stitch and single crochet in the last stitch okay so we'll have a total of 26 stitches okay so now after we're done with that now in the 17th row okay so we're going to in the 17th row we are going to start by doing single crochet in the first nine stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and then after that we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight 
9 10 11 and 12 okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining three stitches so single crochet one two and three okay so now we have a total of 28 stitches okay so now after we're done with that now in the 18th row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 28 stitches okay so you'll continue and do single crochet So do single crochet in every stitch all the way round. Okay, so now this is how our bookmark looks like so far. So now in the next row, which is row 19, uh, we're going to start by doing single crochet in the next seven stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then after that, we'll increase in the next stitch. So increase, and then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches. So single crochet one. Two, three, four, and five, and then we'll increase in the next stitch. So increase, then we'll do single crochet in the next six stitches. So single crochet one, two, three four five and six and then increase in the next stitch okay and then we'll have single crochet in the next five stitches so single crochet one two three four and five okay and then increase in the next stitch and then single crochet in the last stitch okay so now we'll have a total of 32 stitches so now in the 20th row, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 32 stitches. Okay, so continue and do single crochet. Single crochet. So do single crochet in every stitch all the way round. Okay, so now after we are done... Um, with the 20th row this is how it looks like so now from the next row uh, which is the 21st row we are going to start making the strap itself which is the bookmark and in this round we are going to work in the back loop here okay so we'll do eight stitches in the back loop okay so we are going to go into the so we have this loop and the other one okay so we're going to do here in the front loop sorry and I'm going to take uh, the strand of yarn in the front loop and I'll do single crochet one K 
okay so i'll do the same in the next so single crochet two again single crochet three four five six seven and eight okay so this will be the back of the bookmark okay so when you check here we have a little loop over here so these loops as you can see okay so these will come to finish up the face later when we are done making the strap or the bookmark itself okay so when we do eight stitches we are going to do a chain one and turn okay so we're going to start again here and do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and then do chain one and turn and we'll continue again like that until the end and chain one and turn okay so we'll continue like that all the way until we have around 72 rows which is around nine, nine inches long but you can do it longer or shorter according to the length that you want okay so i'll see when you're done making this trap or the bookmark itself and then we'll come and finish up the face and the ears Okay, so I'm done making the strap and this is how it looks like as you can see so when I'm done I'm just going to slip stitch like that okay so now we are going to finish up here the face okay so to finish up the face I'm going to come over here where we started doing the back loops and i'm going to attach my yarn like that and do a chain one and i'm going to put my marker there and in the stitch where we attached i'm again going to do a single crochet And then I'll go, I'm going to continue doing single crochets all the way round. So I'll just continue and do single crochet, including in the eight loops where we crocheted at the front loops only. So now we're going to do single crochets in the back loops that were left like that. So when we are done, we're just going to continue here uh, in the other stitches that were left and we'll continue to do single crochets all the way around until we get here where we started. So we're going to have a total of 32 stitches. Okay, so after we're done with uh, the 22nd row, as you can see so we're going to attach the white or um, cream yarn and we are going to start making the bottom part of the head and in the next row which is row 23 and row 24 we're going to do single crochets all the way around in each round for a total of 32 stitches okay so we just continue over here and do single crochet
okay and we are going to continue doing single crochet all the way around in this round which is round 23 and the next round which is round 24 so i'll see you when you're done with round 24 so that we start the 25th round together okay so after the 24th row this is how our little giraffe looks like so now from the next row which is the 25th row we are going to start decreasing and we're going to start by doing a decrease then single crochet in the next three stitches and we'll repeat that three times okay so we're going to decrease and then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches so one two and three then we're going to repeat that again so decrease and single crochet in the next three stitches and then one more time decrease And single crochet in the next three stitches okay and then now after that we are going to decrease and we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches so single crochet one two three four and five okay and then we are going again to do decrease and then single crochet in the next three stitches and we'll do that twice okay so decrease then single crochet in the next three stitches so one two and three and then we'll decrease and then do single crochet in the remaining three stitches okay so now we have a total of 26 stitches okay so now in the 26th row we are going to start by uh, decreasing okay so we'll decrease and then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches okay so one two and we'll repeat that again all the way around until we have two stitches left at the end okay so you repeat that again so decrease and then two stitches i mean two single crochet in the next two stitches okay and then decrease again then two single crochet and repeat that until we have the last two stitches okay so when you get to the end in the last two stitches we are going to decrease okay so we'll have a total of 19 stitches okay so now in the 27th row we are going to decrease then do single crochet then decrease again and do single crochet and we'll repeat that all the way around until we have one stitch left here at the end okay so we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do single crochet then repeat that so decrease 
and single crochet and continue like that until you have one stitch left here at the end okay so guys uh when you get to the end in the last stitch that's left we're just going to do a single crochet okay so before we continue to the next row make sure you stuff your head um, according to the volume that you want if you want it to be bigger just stuff it all the way and if you don't want it to be big just stuff it just a little bit so I stuffed I stuffed mine as you can see like that so now we're going to finish up with the 28th row and in the 28th row we are going to decrease six times and do single crochet in the last stitch so we are going to decrease and we're going to decrease all the way so I like to decrease uh, by going into the front loop of the next stitch and the back loop of the other stitch like that as you can see so that we don't have gaps left here and I'm going to continue decreasing all the way like that Okay, so when you get to the end in the last stitch, I'm, I'm just going to remove my marker. I'm going to do a single crochet like that. Okay, and then after that, I'll just do a slip stitch in the next uh, in the next stitch and cut off my yarn, and then I'll just do the finishing. So I'm just going to go into the next stitch and pull through like that go into the next one pull through and i'm going to continue doing that until the gap is completely sealed like that like that as you can see there's no gap left at the end and I'm just going to go just anywhere here and pull the yarn through like that and I'll cut it off okay so that's how it is as you can see so cute okay so now let's make the ears okay so now for the ears we are going to start to the magic ring and then we'll do four single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do single crochet one two three and four then I'll pull my yarn to close the gap Okay, and I'll place my marker over here okay so now in the second row we are going to do an increase then single crochet in the next stitch then increase and single crochet in the last stitch so we'll have a total of six stitches okay so we'll continue and do an increase
and then do single crochet in the next stitch and then increase in the next stitch and single crochet in the last stitch okay so just like that so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then we'll do uh, we'll increase in the next stitch and then we'll repeat that all through for a total of nine stitches okay so i'm just going to do single crochet and increase in the next one and single crochet increase then single crochet and increase in the last stitch so we'll have a total of nine stitches okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of nine stitches okay so you continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way round okay so after we're done with the fourth round now in the fifth round uh, we are going to do we are going to increase in the next five stitches and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining four stitches so we'll have a total of 14 stitches so we'll increase five times so increase one then increase two increase three increase four then increase five and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining four stitches okay so we'll have 14 stitches so now in the sixth round we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 14 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochets all the way round after that now in the seventh round we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first two stitches so we'll do single crochet and single crochet and then we'll we'll increase in the next four stitches okay so increase four times increase okay so increase one increase the second time then increase the third time and increase the fourth time okay and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining eight stitches okay so just continue and do single crochet So we'll have a total of 18 stitches. OK, 
okay so now after that in our eighth round we are going to decrease all the way around nine times so we'll have a total of nine stitches so we'll decrease and decrease And we'll continue decreasing all the way round okay so after we are done decreasing now in the last two rounds which is round 9 and 10 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each round okay so we are going to do single crochet all the way around in this row and the next row and then we'll finish up together okay so after you're done with round 10 this is how the uh, our ear should look like so to finish up i'm just going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so you should make the other ear exactly the same way as this one and then we are going to sew them to the head okay so let's sew all the parts together okay so before we join all the parts together uh we're just going to do the tail and the tail is quite easy so we'll just do a chain seven so chain one two three four five six and seven okay and then starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to slip stitch all the way through okay so we'll slip stitch six times so one two all the way to the end So like that and then we'll cut it off and then when we are done we're just going to sew it here at the very bottom and then we'll add a little bit of black yarns at the end okay so now let's finish up we sew the ears and then we embroider the nose and the eyes so guys as you can see I've already attached uh, the parts together for, so for my ears this is how I attached them as you can see so directly below the antennas you just count one two three and in the fourth row from the antenna that's why you attach the ears okay and then here for the eyes you're going to count from here from the antenna one two three four five six Seven. that's why you embroider or if you have uh, the doll eyes you can just attach them over there and you're going to attach them one two three four four stitches apart okay so for the nose I embroidered a little X over here so uh, from where the white yarn starts and here in the second row from here you just draw a line here and another line here and the same with the other one so they have to be in straight line both the antennae the eyes and the nose okay so and then here for the tail I attach it right at the middle and then uh, you come and add the little black or brown yarns here at the bottom okay so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time bye